Systemic racism is a painful, widespread problem in society, and even right here in Montgomery County. Though we are a welcoming community that embraces its diversity, there are still disparities that exist in ethnicity, education, income, health, and other factors that prevent our ability for future prosperity. I want to thank all my colleagues this um, resolution to develop an equity policy framework in county government. In recognizing this, the county council, led by President Nancy Navarro and now County Executive Mark Elrich, developed a resolution that would create an equity policy framework in county government. That would require the county to question how budget and policy decisions impact equity. So we talk about the academic achievement gap, the uh, health care gaps that exist and disparities. We talk about income gaps. Um, and so what we're referring to right there are particular uh, communities are disproportionately affected in a negative way when it comes to access and when it comes to outcomes. That's why it is so important then for policymakers to have a very structural mechanism to not only examine those gaps, but understand if the decisions that we are making exacerbate or actually close those disparities. You're dealing with policymakers, you just say, so, you know, who's affected by this decision? Um, I, th I think people have just gotten used to not thinking about some of these things. You know, your job um, can get so isolated that you don't think about the long term effects. Uh, on communities of decisions you make. I think you have to you have to make it normal by constantly talking about it and making people aware of it. The council's Office of Legislative Oversight recently released its report, Racial Equity in Government Decision Making, which contains practices for advancing racial equity in government. In compiling this report, OLL examined census data compiled by the Urban Institute for Montgomery County, which revealed wide racial disparities in several areas here. Income, home ownership, and education. So in the case of the achievement gap, of course, we know that African-American and Latino students do not do as well as their white or Asian counterparts. So what does that mean in a county, for example, a public school system where Latino students are the majority and where we know that we have an ambitious goal of economic development and workforce development, these are students that are not going to be able to necessarily become part of that vibrant workforce. How you doing? Good. The council believes eliminating these disparities is an economic imperative. Work kicked off at the new year with the first in a series of racial equity training sessions for county employees provided by the Racial Equity Institute. Way of starting 2019. These sessions are designed to set the stage for future county legislation to address institutional racism in the way we conduct government business. So this is really the first step and it is to adopt legislation at the end of this year to establish an equity policy in the county. So again, every decision we make, so whether it's a land use decision, a budgetary decision, a policy decision of some kind that is constantly examined and seen through that lens, so we can hopefully uh, begin then to see some real progress. In addition to the racial equity training, the county is now a member of the Government Alliance on Race and Equity, or GARE, a national network of governments working to achieve racial equity and advance opportunities for all. A social movement that only moves people is merely a revolt. A movement that changes both people and institutions is a revolution. GARE has worked with more than 100 local and regional jurisdictions across the country to advance racial equity. If we are to get to the kind of democratic, just society we want, it's only going to happen locally. Community engagement activities on these issues will continue through the spring and fall of this year. Montgomery County is a great place to live and work, but there are persistent opportunity gaps. The council will receive a baseline report outlining the opportunity gaps here in the county. The council will identify interventions needed to achieve racial equity based on feedback from the community. 
The council will then identify specific interventions and use them in developing legislation on racial equity and social justice, which the council expects to enact this fall. This town hall meeting is a first step in talking about how we can work to eradicate systemic racism to benefit the next generation of Montgomery County residents. We want to hear from you. Why does racial equity matter to you? Are you impacted by inequities by race and ethnicity in your daily life? And what do you see as some of the changes that could be made here in Montgomery County to reduce racial and ethnic inequities?